So, it's been a long ride and it took months and months of research and practice, but today marks the end of the facial mocap series. Now that it's over, I'd like to make a few announcements and talk about plans for what I've got coming up next. The facial mocap series is probably the most difficult and research heavy series that I've created so far. There are so many different facial mocap solutions and a lot of confusing tutorials out there, but by far the most efficient and streamlined solution that I found was the AR Kit 52 Shape Keys. The reason that I picked it over all the other solutions was because the shape key system is simple. You just make 52 shape keys. That's really all it is. And because it's the Apple standard, it's also the standard for most other systems out there. Now there are other solutions out there where you paint your face, and yes they work, but let's be honest, most of us don't want to have to put dots on our face every time we want to create a facial mocap recording. So I was looking for a system that was easy, popular, simple, and fast. And this is the one that I think met those standards the most. Once you record the facial animation, it takes less than 30 seconds to import and export the face data to Blender, and that's crazy. And it's really hard to find a system that does things better and faster. So I really hope this series helped. For anyone that's looking to get into facial mocap, hopefully it'll at least start you in the right direction. Something else that I'd really like to share is just how incredible the support squad has been throughout this whole time. And the reason that I say this is because I've gotten a lot of messages from the squad members about losing their job, or the pandemic, or inflation, or the war, and nobody knows for certain if they're going to be able to keep supporting the channel in the future. And that's why I feel like we're really living on borrowed time here. I think more than likely, everyone's financial situation is probably going to get worse in the near future. And as a content creator who survives based on people being generous, I honestly feel like this is the worst time to be asking anyone for financial support. And that's why I haven't really talked about it as much as I usually do. I'm honestly just humbled and grateful to still have the members who are here. Despite the tough times, they really want this channel to keep going, and they've really been fighting to keep us above the water. So please appreciate the names that you see here. They're really sacrificing a lot at a time when very few people can. As for the future of this channel, now that the facial mocap series is over, this month I have two major goals. The first one is to finish the game project that we've been slowly putting together over the years. My goal is to finish the game by the end of the month, which is like 15 more days. I know that's not a lot of time, but here on Royal Skies, time is never a luxury we had. Because the simple truth is, most of our community is here to learn about 3D art, not game development. So I don't want to spend too much time on game dev stuff when most of our community is not here for it. So my goal is just to finish the game as fast as possible and immediately shift our focus back to exploring 3D skills and tools that can help improve our 3D art. The point of completing the game is no longer to be a successful game developer. That's not a concern I have anymore. The point is to inspire and show some of the cool things that you can do with the skills that you learn here on this channel. That does not mean I don't care about the game, I'm still gonna do my best to make it as fun as possible with the time I have left. I just don't want to spend any more time than necessary on something that I know most of our community has no interest in. However, this will be the first game that I've made with assets built entirely in Blender. The characters are all going to use the anime shading techniques that we developed over the last year, and when the project is over, I'll be releasing all my characters on my art station for anyone else who might want to use them. So, that's the plan for the near future. Again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.